What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Football Capital. I'm Borche, and I'm today I'm joined with Seba. And now today we've got another transfer update for you guys. This one's touching on um, Tottenham Hotspur. Seb, we have a done deal. Done deal. They made some moves. Uh, they've confirmed Gedson Fernandez. It's a loan deal for now, uh, 18 months. And when that one's done, there's an option to buy to make that one permanent. So he's only 21 years old, yeah? He's 21 years old. To be honest, I haven't really seen much of him. Yeah. So I can't really comment how good he can be. I mean, it's a, look, it's regardless, a they, move. it's a Mourinho move. He's from Portugal. Mourinho, he's familiar with that with that league. Um, I also think they need they need players. They need to strengthen. We've seen a few injuries. Yeah. Uh, suspensions hurt him in the last couple of weeks. So, look, this guy could be he could be a gem. And I'm not too sure if if this is if this is true or not. But it was with the option to buy if they make top four. Yeah. I'm not too sure how true that is. I don't know. I know that was said somewhere in the papers. But um, yeah, look, that's a that's a done deal. So Tottenham get off the mark out of maybe all the big bigger teams. Yeah, they're trying to um, just look, like you said, bolster the squad. They got some injuries. Um, they haven't been too consistent either. And 21 years old, this is one for the future. You know, a loan move. I don't know how much the uh, fee would be after that move is done. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, but for now, risk free. You know, if they don't like him, don't have to buy him. Don't have to buy him. I guess so. Goes yeah. Home. Um, but the, the story that we really wanted to touch on today, you now it's been all over the papers, all over the press, as you know, even before the transfer window opened, Christian Eriksen. Now there's been a lot of talk about Christian Eriksen leaving Tottenham. I think his favourite favourite destination was Real Madrid. Um, it's been happening since Pochettino. Yeah. He started the season, that's why he didn't play him the few the start of uh, yeah, yeah. the he's first had, couple um, of games. Definitely his most turbulent season since joining the club. Obviously he's been a great servant for the club themselves. He's only twenty seven years old. I mean it's kind of a shame to lose that kind of player, but clearly it's not working for him there. Um, the club they're happy to let him go. So he's not even gonna cost that much. Like Well that's what, that's it. The I think the rumoured fee, well his the the reported club is Inter Milan, it's it's no it's no surprise. Yeah. Um so they're, they're offering 8.5 million for Christian Eriksen. I think Spurs won about 17.5. The thing is, if they don't cash in now, he'll go for free. That's, that's, true. that's the only one, one main concern for, for Spurs. I, in my opinion, get whatever you can for him. I, I agree, get whatever you can, but there's a big difference from 17 to 8 to eight and a half. Yeah. Um, I mean, if they don't sell him right now for that 8.5 mil, they got him for the next for the rest of the season, and you know, fortune can change in, in one week. In that meaning, he can have just one killer game, and then back he's back to his best, and then could even you know he could even re-sign and, and yeah, extend the contract. Should it go well? But one, that's a big yeah, that's a good point there about have him having a good game. The problem that I have is well, not really a, not really a problem, but like no one was in for him. Yeah, that's that's crazy. There was reports that United <laughs> have pulled out of the deal for whatever reasons. Uh, we know he wanted to go to. Um, Real Madrid, that didn't that didn't happen. Well, they're just not interested. Well, but that's what I mean. Like play, players, oh, sorry, teams like Barcelona, Real Madrid, even Juventus. If you're talking about um, the upper echelon of yeah, clubs, yeah, that, that's right. Not even there's not even a rumor that he he's yeah. linked there or that the club has spoken with anyone. So that's for me that is a bit of a surprise. Look, you would love for him to stay stay in the Premier League. Unfortunately, he is, it looks like he is leaving. Uh, we got reports from Fabrizio Romano that Christian Eriksen has accepted. To join Inter Milan, um, so in I think to the, yeah this in, in January. So I think personal deals might be agreed. It, it's just that what the price no, tag it's going to be. If for they him. don't accept that eight point five and do demand the seventeen, like that's not the craziest amount of money anyway. That's a that's a bargain for a, for a guy yeah. who can just who can give so much. You were speaking off camera about the dip, like what he's done for his personal value with his poor performances, as opposed to say Eden Hazard, who, right. was, who wanted, who was eyeing other clubs, and he just took his game to the next level and, and made himself irresistible to these clubs. And, and that's, couldn't that's do what that. I mean. Like if if, P, if players want to leave, like for example, let's just say Paul Pogba, always rumored that he's he's gonna leave, but you're not putting in the performances to to, to say why. Yeah, club. exactly. Why why should that club buy you? You're yeah. not putting in like like we said with Hazard, killed it last season, played mm. well. He he wanted the move. Uh, if, if you're playing like Ericsson is half here, half there, doesn't, doesn't look interested. I mean, against against Liverpool, the last game he played, he looked he looked poor. Yeah, man. And, and like, it, how how yeah. do you want a big move away from from Spurs to a club that's gonna challenge for titles, challenge yeah. for leagues when you're performing like that? There's and a lot, I think lot of it questions. Might, it might cost him, and I think 
even going to Inter Milan, is he going to win leagues? Is he going to win titles with with uh, with like in, with sorry Juventus? Juventus is there just dominating still. Like I mean, in the league now, it's very tight between Inter and uh, and and Juve. But Inter's also they've been kicked out of the Champions League in the in the group stages. So that's right. Tottenham were in the Champions League final last season. Is that a step down in a way? I don't think it is. I think they're pretty much on par the two clubs, yeah. but. When Juventus is Juventus and, and they own the league that they play in the way they do, and Spurs um, are still in the Champions League. Spurs are still in the Champions so, League, yeah. But you know what? Next season they might not, they might not be in the Champions League at all, and you know that Inter will. Yeah. So you know what? It's, in a way, it's an interesting little. It's, a, it's an interesting uh, story. I think. There. What do you think for for Ericsson, Is this a good move, or do you think maybe a move elsewhere would have been better? For example, like a United, or maybe pushed for the for the Real Madrid move. Well, I think that he is a player who deserves to be starting every week, um, if he's at his best, of course. Inter, they're having a bit of a revolution. So maybe he wants to be in that first phase. Because we can see what they're trying to do. Exactly. With the, they, with the players they want to buy. Yeah. Literally. They're buying everyone. Giroud, you were talking yeah. about Giroud in the last video. You know, like He's going there too. Like, yeah. like, it's just ridiculous. But you know what? They're not that heavy in top class uh, midfielders. Like they got a few, but like he would probably be up there with the best of yeah. them if he did go. And yeah, it's a it's a good signing for yeah, Inter. Could be right there. Could I think be right. it's a good sign. That's a good move for him to go to to Inter. Personally, yeah. good move. I think so. Yeah. Well, that would be interesting to see, guys. That's all we have for for Tottenham and on the Christian Eriksen uh, deal. As soon as we see any sort of movement, any sort of done deals, we'll we'll keep you guys updated. But um, guys, make sure I did I did a video on the Chelsea. movements of Chelsea and what they're doing in the transfer window so make sure you go check that one out and we'll also get you um, some updates on Manchester United and a few other Premier League clubs in the and next couple of days as well you got a club you want to hear about let us know and we'll talk about that that's right let us know if you got any other clubs or let us know how out of 10 give give this uh, Christian Eriksen move, move a yeah. rating how how, um, how possible is it gonna, is it going to be for me I'll, I'll give it I think a 9 out of 10 you yeah. Yeah, I say nine out of ten as well. 10. I think it's not. 9. I think it's not a ten because it just might not be might Inter, not but he's leaving, so you know. That's right, guys. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon with more transfer updates. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the video, and leave all your comments. Catch you next time.